in today from um, Action Village, and I think it's my Con Rising Sun Sandana for paintball, and my paintball Vulcan Traumatic Pants Personalized Jersey Traumatic. So let's take a look and see if I'm right. So it looks right away we got the pants, and we got the jersey with the sandana. So we're going to take the pants out first. So these are in a large for pants. I'm a large for pants, so that's perfect. Um, they definitely feel like they're really big on me, even though they are large. Um, great padding in the knees for sliding and everything. Uh, cuffs are adjustable to give you a tighter or looser fit around your ankles. Uh, stretchy material, so when you're down on your knees behind the snake, it actually stretches and you know gives you a lot of mobility and stuff. Um, the waist is also adjustable, so if it's too big or too tight on you, you can uh, loosen or tighten. Best thing is a padded crotch, and us guys who are watching this right now know how important this is. Also, it comes with back and lumbar support for the pod pack and just your back, so it's perfect. Um, breathable material, so you're not a giant sweaty mess. So, um, traumatic pants, uh, retail price $124, worth every cent of it. So I definitely recommend these pants. These are the top of the line for Vulcan, so I definitely recommend them. Next up, we have the Khan Sandana uh, Rising Sun. This all together was $34. Honestly, it's excellent. It's got padding right here to go around your forehead, so if you get hit in the forehead, it will dampen the blow. Um, all It's Japanese, the design for the Rising Sun. Honestly, to me, it was the coolest one, and paintball is a fashion sport, so you want to be the coolest and most badass person out there when you're eliminating all of your opponents and friends. Recommend getting this. It's $34, maybe a little bit pricey, but honestly, I, it looks awesome and it's, you know, worth the money. Last but not least, we have the Vulcan Traumatic Jersey. This is an XL. I always say to get something that's for paintball in a size larger, so I'm a large. So this is um, XL. It's got padding in the arms, which you probably can't really tell, but um, right here I can flip some out. This is the padding that's inside the, ar the forearm and shoulder for bunkering situations. Um, it's perfect. It's excellent padding. Breathable material, so your body's breathing and you don't get all sweaty. Um, same with under the armpit. Um, again, padding is along the shoulder and forearm. Thumb holes for if people who don't like to wear gloves and also when you're sliding in, um, your jersey does not ride up on you. All in all, it's a great jersey. Uh, traumatic, as always. Um, you always want to get stuff that matches you. So, and matches what you're playing around. So if you're in a woods ball field, you don't want to wear something red and uh, white. If you're in a speed ball field and the bunkers are mainly red, um, this is definitely good because it kind of helps you blend in a little better with them. Again, it's personalized on the back. You can get any number you want and your last name. Um, the last name is a little bit pricey. It's like $18 for your last name. Um, it's awesome though. It looks cool. And each letter, depending if it's a zero and the number or just the number, it's like $2.50. Um, total price on this was about $80 with the personalization. Retail jersey is just $65. I definitely recommend this. Uh, again, it's an XL Redemption Vulcan. Uh, definitely go check it out if you're beginning or intermediate player. Thank you. So in a previous video, obviously, this is um, a little bit battle scarred a little bit. Uh, this is the die. Remember the die. Three helmet. Beep. So anyways, how to put this on is, so you, this part goes on your forehead. So when you're facing it, obviously this is going to be reverse for you, view for you. Your forehead goes right here. So if you were looking down like straight at the table right now with your forehead here, this wraps around the back of your head and tightens. You flip this over the back of your head then and put your helmet on over it, adjusting this so it doesn't ride up and create air bubbles on the top of your head. Uh, padding again protects your forehead and it is a great buy and it just looks like you're about to whoop someone's ass on the field.